Hi, welcome back. It's Laura Hipper Stamper. I did another Christmas junk journal. I'm so excited about this one. I used um, a vintage book from 1959 and I added the most stunning antique lace here and up here as well. And I put some vintage beads on uh, string here and made bangles out of it. But what I love the most is this beautiful antique postcard that you can remove. It's got the antique uh, photo corners on it. And this one here is from, um, from my research, it looks like it was from 1910. So it's absolutely stunning. It's in really good shape. A Merry Christmas and it's got the little uh, letter uh, on the back. So uh, a really, really beautiful postcard for a really fun Christmas journal. Now this is going in my Etsy shop, hyperstamper.etsy.com momentarily. And everything in here is not just authentic uh, antique and vintage ephemera, but it's also authentic Christmas antique and vintage ephemera. Everything in here is Christmas themed. And so it takes me a long time to collect that much Christmas ephemera, but I do have enough for quite a few Christmas journals this year. I spent a lot of time this year looking for Christmas things. So this pocket here is from a 1959 um, magazine from a Betty Crocker advertisement. And then this here came from a vintage book. It's just a lovely little plate. And I put some antique paper on the back for journaling. Little sled ride in the snow. Some vintage crochet up here. And this is a 1940s Arborite uh, countertop uh, sample. And I picked this one because it's red for Christmas. And then I put a, a little green top on it. And that is very cool piece because you don't often see double-sided samples and arborite samples are actually very rare. So this here is another postcard here. And this one is from 1924. So exactly 100 years old with a little Christmas message on the back there. And this lovely Fred the postcard with the birds and the pine cones and the little house there. And then up here, I've put this little booklet that I made out of all my vintage and antique scrap papers. And this is on the cover because it reminded me of a nice Christmas table setting. And here is another one. This is a really stacked page. This is a fun uh, vintage magazine page. Things to make at Christmas, both sides. Absolutely fantastic. And that is from the 1950s. Full color, wonderful. You'll have lots of fun enjoying that. This is from the 1930s children's book page here, a little Christmas story. I put some uh, Canadian birch bark on this page here because birch just makes me think of Christmas. It's a lovely 1904 plate uh, from an antique book. And then look at this wonderful photo here, original photo, and it is from the uh, 1950s. Little family there in front of their Christmas tree. I love the electric fireplace there, so fun. And this is a 1923 banknote, so 100 years old. And I chose this one because it is green and red. Isn't that fun? There we go. This is a lovely plate from 1925 Art Decoration Book. I love the snow scene here. And there's Santa up here at the top. And then this page here, Good King Wenceslas from long ago. That's also from Gateways to Bookworm from the 30s. I hand stamped a tree on this page here. And I hand stamped this little toy sack down here. This is a 1930s book page as well, it's winter scene. And this is another one of these wonderful magazine pages. I actually got a, a bunch of magazines from the 50s and almost all of them had this holiday um, piece in it for holiday hairdos. And then on the back are things that you can make at Christmas as well. I actually really like some of these. <laughs> I could make them today. This is from an antique book, The Christmas Carol, classic. So we've got it on both sides there. This is just a hilarious ad for Christmas gifts. Nightmare before Christmas, <laughs> trying to put together toys. Here's another Christmas page here from the Bobsy Twin book. Merry days. And here is another little um, how to make Christmas dough dolls in the oven. Um, yeah, I have no words. It's just awesome. Just hilariously awesome. Really fun little cluster up here. And this is a vintage song sheet here from the vintage music book. And more hand stamping there. Another one of these dough dolls from the 50s. And a great advertisement on the back. Another Christmas children's book page here from the 30s. 
Isn't that great? And this is a 1959 magazine page here. There's that wonderful Christmas Carol in prose, um, that version there, that's an original page. 1920, or 19, so I think believe it's 1920s children's book page there. Isn't that great? Merry Christmas. This is some of that wonderful vintage wrapping paper that I've been using and I will continue to use because I have so much of it. So it will go a long way. This is a vintage book here, uh, Little Doll's Christmas. And then here is another, this is the cover of one of the magazines I've been taking my, my things from, December 1959. Just a great, great cover. And look at this Santa ad in the back. Wonderful. For Tide. <laughs> Laundry soap. Bobsy Twins, Merry Days Indoors and Out. And you can journal on the back of that. And this is from 1938. This is a beautiful plate uh, pioneer stagecoach from 1834 isn't that lovely and this is just one of those christmas carol books again just a fun little pocket down here i just thought that looked like a little uh little boy and his mom maybe he got a puppy for christmas and then here this is just a fun thing that you can use to make a collage with or make a craft with this year bake your gifts a gift you bake is a gift from the heart maybe you can slip that into a a box of cookies if you're making cookies for someone. Another wonderful children's book page here on making Christmas candy. A cardinal, which is always a Christmas bird, but I love cardinals so much. Here's another song sheet from a vintage book, Christmas Bells. And this is a lovely plate here as well from another vintage book. Sleigh rides everywhere in the winter. And then under this paper clip here, I have this very, very special page. Let me show you the full page. I'm trying to be as careful with it as I can because old paper is brittle. Isn't that lovely? And this is from the 1930s, Girls Own Paper. Um, so there's a, lots of Christmas themes here and a Christmas story here. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I just love it so much. And I'll just tuck that right back under that pan, and that's under that vintage music sheet Christmas songs as well. Here's another uh, 1959 page from a Christmas magazine. Look at that. How lovely is that? Birch trees. Another 1930s children's book page here for Christmas, and the original back page of the book. So I hope you love this as much as I loved making it, and I hope you'll come back soon. Bye for now.